Hello, this is Anselmi, and we're playing City Skylines. And yeah, I've been away for quite some time uh, from this game and from everything. Um, pretty much because I've been in quarantine. I am in quarantine because of this virus, the COVID-19 virus, and um, I sort of started this city uh, three months ago, I think I, pretty much in the, in the time when I went into quarantine, I started with this city, the city, and um, I recorded three episodes, but I only released one. I think the other two has been outdated uh, in, in the fact what I'm talking about and stuff like that. Maybe I release them later on, but uh, I just wanted to get going here now. Uh, I've been trying to take care of myself during this quarantine time and um, I'm sort of hoping, uh, since I'm not in the best of shapes, uh, I am pretty much at risk of leaving this earth if I get that goddamn uh, um, COVID. So uh, uh, the Swedish government has uh, given me the opportunity by giving me a small sum of money um, until the 30th of September and I'm hoping that they will prolong it uh, because if they won't give me any money at all I, I just can't be in quarantine and I think I need to be in quarantine because I'm not very uh, optimistic about the result if I do get COVID-19 so yeah, but let's not talk about that kind of things. We're going to continue in this city. There's going to be some things that, a lot of things probably, that um, is in episode 2 and 3. And as I said, there is a possibility I will release them in the future, but not at this moment. And um, looking at how I think the this little island here that I've created with the restaurant at the end and this um, these a little more luxurious housings here but um, yeah and little park area and stuff like that so pretty neat I think I did that in, in the latest, and, and then of course I have the fish market here, and then a little commercial uh, I built out, and some schools and hospital. We have the primary school or elementary school, and we have the high school, and we have a big hospital here, and. Uh, it's not going to end up like this. We're going to be making some changes going along. But at the moment, I just want to build up this city. And I want to um, do some stuff today. So without... I, I, think, I think I'm just going to be playing around with it and talking at the same time. So I'm just going to start doing stuff and saying what I'm doing so let's get started with this one this roundabout I don't like it it's congesting all the traffic so I have a little plan to try and get this to work better so let's pause it so we and we take away everything here like that well, that, that, and that. That's right. And then we need to build. Let's start with the road. 
Now you will see what I'm doing in a little while. Might look might look a bit strange, to be honest. I would think that it will be looking strange what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna connect this into the road and I'm gonna connect that one as well. And now we have a a crossing, an intersection, which is very congesting for the... This is not going to make it better than a roundabout, of course. Roundabout would be much better than this. But I'm going to do something else. I need to get rid of the traffic on this road, because this road, I need this road to be kind of free from traffic. However it looks in the industrial area, I really don't care at the moment. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do like this. Take this <coughs> line, see, and I'm gonna, there, that line you have to go in there, that line you have to go straight, that line you have to go there, that line you have to go straight, that line you have to go in there, and that lane you have to go out there. Now this, of course, would not be very good um, because this is going straight in here and there's no way. So all these traffic, this traffic needs to be able, of course, to get to the other side as well. So how I'm gonna solve that is by making, yeah, I am having, that row. I'm taking this one, 5 out here, go down 9 meters, that's it, then let's go here, 5, not 12, 9, and now we have a tunnel there, which means that they can get anywhere between those places there now. And this will, will hopefully speed up a, big, uh, a lot of the process here. But we don't want the light. We have no need for lights here. Since they're all getting their own lane to exit in this one. As you can see, there's no... Nobody is, is crossing anybody's path. So what we can even do here is take this one, we turn off so nobody can cross the road here. We turn these on, which tells the traffic to not stop, just drive on through. And like that, we have put some speed in this crossing. They won't cross each other and they won't stop, they will just drive out. Just the way I like it. And now they get down there. Of course, we. I want to be able to, because there's going to be some jams here. So I'm going to be trying to take a little bigger road to get See here, this is a four lane, small four lane. Yeah, and we're gonna upgrade the road like that. And I think we're gonna upgrade, we'll upgrade this road as well. Let's just upgrade this one as well. Like that, that's for this side anyway. Now. Then I want to dedicate some of these lines. Like this line needs to go there. Oh, let's, let's get that here. And we let this one go straight ahead. This one has to go there. 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 To go there. Now I know there's going to be a problem. If they're gonna pick up or leave something in these industrial places here at the end and they are want to turn up to this side they can't do that because if they're here 
if they live in this place, there is no, you see, they need to stay in this lane, and if they stay in this lane, they need to turn right. So, yeah. But it will definitely help with the traffic by having, uh, by taking away, I think we're going to have to need to have those, but I'm going to need, I want that one to be the one that has the right to pass it to like that. So they have to leave way on this side because the traffic will, of course, come from this. This is where the heavy traffic will come. What's happening in here is not that important. It's not nothing it's not something to negligate completely either but it's not as important as getting keeping this lanes these lanes free from from traffic so that this can stop this let's see what we have despawning is currently i don't want it to be despawning is currently disabled so they won't despawn, right? That's hard mode, or whatever they call it. That's what I want. Not that I am a hardcore player, but I wanted to be realistic. Uh, always looking for to try and do as much realistic as I can manage. Now. We only have 8,700 people. We need 11,000 to get trains, so that's a big problem. Now that you can see that, that this here ended up being congested anyway, because it gets congested here. So we need to get this one to work. And then we do like that. And we do like that. And then we do give them some lanes to follow. This one goes straight. Hey, you're not allowed to get up there. This one can turn. This one can only turn there. This one goes there or there. Mm -hmm. And I yeah, I hope that, yeah, so there's possibility for them to change lanes there. Like that. Now let's see, I was thinking about, maybe I, no, I didn't forget that one. And I didn't forget that one. So yeah, now it should be doing some quite good floating here in the traffic. The turning there, of course, it's the speed limits, and it is hard for them. They're going f coming from 100 kilometers an hour and turning into a 40. So maybe we should change at that part, that last part here. I have to lower to 80 and then down to 40. And and they're into the curve there. Let's do the same thing there. Oh, I'm not having lanes. Okay, show lanes. Yeah, that's that's more like it. We can even give the outer lane here 120. Same here. So that. Now we get the problem here, of course, and that's why this one is going away as well. And we're going to build the same kind of situation, the same sort of system. Um, so let's pause and get rid of this roundabout. And I'm I'm not happy about taking away the, the roundabout cup because I, I really do like roundabouts. I think it's a great way to get traffic to work properly. Um, so 
So yeah, that's a bit of a shame. Well, let's do like that. Oh, there is some pillars left from the roundabout. So let's, yeah, we want to destroy those as well. Yes, yes, and yes. Now, should I have it go from here to there, or should I make it a little less? Hmm. Yeah, I think I will need to find the road first. It's so loads of roads now, um, and I'm just downloading too many of them. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that would be a good place to have this intersection. Now, as we can see, these are too far uh, out, so let's... Okay, let's give it this one. Five, and one, two, three. One, two, three, five. Not six, five. And down to nine meters, and then we connect them. So there it is. Now there's an, the next roundabout that we probably need to take a look at as well. But let's just make up the rules in this roundabout. Turn, turn, go straight, go straight, turn, and turn. Some other rules, no, we, yeah, we, we don't want them to be able to walk across the street here and we want it to be free flowing. And what else can we do here then? Sorry about that, I'm a bit tired. As you can see it's in the middle of the night, I just felt that I needed to do something. Um, so, uh, let's see, I haven't forgotten anything, have I? Yep, the traffic lights, let's take away the traffic lights, so that's going to be a problem anyway, so like that. Now let's see what happens. I want the flow to, let's just put it on hyperspeed here. I want it to feel the, the flow that they are actually not stopping, that we get in this intersection here, that they do flow like, like a, a no, no stoppings and stuff. If there are small stoppings in these areas on the, both of the sides here, I really don't care. The important thing is that this intersection and this intersection and, and yeah, this roundabout, which isn't working as good as I'd hoped, but it, it is working. Um, I don't know why it's, uh, I need to see if all the rules are put into this roundabout. That is of course an important thing. Looks like it. Let's look at this. Yes, good. This. Yeah. Shouldn't be any. Let's see here. Yeah, that's that one is there. Here we have that one. There we have that one. Yeah. It's it's all the rules are there to make this intersectional, this roundabout work, and it still goes, it stops here from time It is, uh, I don't know if it's, it's the speed of the roundabout, but they're almost, well, there doesn't have to be any traffic almost, and, and they stop outside, but let's, let's just try this and and um, try and change to 40 inside the roundabout then. 
and perhaps that will not make them scared of of going into the roundabout and we'll maybe get rid of some of this the the pausing that ends up here from time to time but yeah it flows a little better uh, it's not always higher speed that is the answer to to the problem sometimes it's lower speeds to get it to flow better so yeah we do have a nice flow here in the traffic and uh, yeah uh, might be a bit of a problem for them in these but still at the moment there are, there is no problems with congestions in the in these uh, industrial areas and i'm very pleased with that i hope that continues let's see how the traffic is here it's murder around here for example because they are driving into this area here and this road it's sort of idiotic i'm gonna try to do something that i didn't really get to work last time i tried this so but it is to Here's a little service road. Service road. Let's just try to make it. Let's make it three, okay? And then we take this one, and we well, let's get satisfied with that, shall we? And then we take this one. I guess we need to do like that. And then, oh, cr no, it fits in perfectly, perfectly, good, 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 good. And we place that one there, and then this one here. Like that. Now what we do after that is these, we can't have part cars and we can't have anything like that here so well there's no you're not allowed to park but we can't have cars driving here what i say and we apply it to all the uh, yeah to the end of that so it goes all the way around now cars are allowed to drive so they should be parking here but I do have a big problem getting them to park there you see there is one that has been parked and um, otherwise they just ignore it they just disappear here which is a bit of a pity um, but yeah it sort of makes me this realistic um, feeling that you want to have I mean I'm not I'm not a uh, hundred percent about the realism. I wouldn't be able to play the game if I was going for a hundred percent realistic, of course. But I just want things to work, and they don't really do that all the time. But let's see if we can have some pathway. Let's see if we can get all the way over to the other side here and try to... I wonder if that one... if that is enough to connect to the... the road there. I hope we'll get to see that. And we have one that goes down here, I think. Like that. I don't know how to. I don't know if we can do something like that, perhaps. Hopefully that works. Now there's two cars that I've parked there anyway, so might be the right way to do like this. There, well, you can see people walking there. That's for sure. So they're using the pathway, which is 
perfect because that means that they really should be um, getting um, where I want them to be. I can't get that to be. Why is that doing like that? I know I had some problems with that before and I'm almost pretty sure that I just marked that one and raised that and I got it to be over, but it won't. Oh well, can't have everything here in the world, can we? Let's see if we can put it in the height of that one, doesn't help. Oh well, you, they're a bit weird down. It's not a new area, I guess. Oh well, but it fixed the problem here as well, actually, not turning off, but we do have a problem back up here. What has happened here? Oh, something is wrong here. They're going back in the roundabout here, which is making it very congestive. Oh, it's a big problem, this, but it's fun. 62% uh, traffic flow, so the traffic flow is actually good everywhere else then. Um, except here, but this is important, of course, to work. Oh, how to do this? Well, maybe I can do something like... Let's do, oh, we need that one, the guidelines back like that. Let's do four and go straight over there and let's see if that will help with anything. I doubt it, but let's see and hope and try. Might have been a bad idea to have that despawn enabled. <laughs> But yeah, here we go anyway. And this is, is uh, this it's another roundabout of course that screw things over. Makes it hard for me. They're evil, those some of those roundabouts. What we could do is of course that yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna do something here. I don't know if that's gonna help with the traffic, but I'm gonna do it. And we're gonna have to see what happens. Nothing happens now. It looks horrible. Let's take that away and hope that it turns back. Yeah, it did. But I do not... I don't know why these guys are going out, even though I've, hopefully, let's put that one down. Let's see if I've put in all the, doesn't look like I have. You have to leave way, you little mice, you. Like that. And then we go, that's not going to happen, that one's going to be the one, and that one, and that is not going to be, and that one. Yeah, that should be a little better, but it still isn't good, but maybe it will be after a while. <coughs> Sometimes it takes some time for the traffic to get where they have to before things start looking better. I don't know why they're turning back here, which is very, very irritating. Almost like I want to cut them from going out here. But I can't do that. Um, 
Yeah, we're having a bit of a problem, lads. Or people. Just a... Just a little smidge of a problem, don't we? <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. This is not going very good, is it? But it is improving here, I think. It is about to... I feel that it is about to, to get, get that knot loosen up pretty soon. So let's hope for that. Look at this, people, the more these lights get people to go out, the more people can go in and it will solve itself in the end, but people need to get out of course, and then this needs to, and that's why they these lights should stop, why are they going out even though I put all these restrictions for them to not go out. I mean, it's almost like, hey, I'm not gonna do what you're telling me to do, I'm gonna do what I feel like doing. I mean, leave way. Oh, crap. Did I just put some? No, I didn't. Oh, maybe I did. Yeah, I did. Leave way. Well, maybe we can see if stop goes better there then. But yeah, I, I don't, <sighs> there is no way. What is this? Why is that lane being able to go in both lanes? shouldn't be possible to do that. Why is that lane doing that? That's a weird thing. I need to think about what I've done here. First of all, this one's... If you're in this, you don't have to go there. If you're in this, then you should go there and there. This one should be able to go there, should be able to go there, there, and should be able to go there. And then this one, you don't need to go there in this one. And this one, you need to go there. Hmm. And then all everybody that picks this line, no, sorry, picks the inner lane here and needs to go all the way back out here or in there. Now it's starting to flow a bit. It's nicer to see a stop might have been a good answer for what was supposed to be doing there. The traffic is starting to flow. Lads, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Traffic is starting up again. Let's see what the traffic says here. 79. This is brilliant. Just brilliant, lads. Or people. Perhaps I should just say people. This is going smooth here as well. This, oh, I, I don't think I, this is something that I built in episode two, I think, that I haven't uploaded that. Um, it's a complicated thing and it doesn't look very pretty, but it is effective. Um, maybe I should go through what I've done here. This, you, can, if you, you have this one that is just going straight over the bridge. Oh, straight over from one side to the other then you have here if you want to go to that way and you have here if you want to go to that way so it's sort of a roundabout but not a roundabout uh, you can go in all directions um, 
but you can't uh, you can go in all directions but you don't have to go into a roundabout but if to build this one I just needed to to have so much space and that's why uh, I don't build this kind of constructions anywhere else but here I did have a lot of space and then I could build this monstrosity now the roundabout the laughing of course that you're asking yourself is you can't turn around you can't go if you come from this side here and you want to go back there but I built a little loop out there which I found uh, <clears throat> most useful but I can see that there are people coming here and then going back to get up to this way here instead of going this way that is strange and I think it's because of the short period that you keep lower speed here while you have a long way with low speed here so you keep up the long and I don't know why that shouldn't be, be that shouldn't be that's so strange that they're doing that now there is some traffic coming here anyway but as you can see they go up there now my friend, you go in here and you go out there don't understand now I don't like this slope here it's too steep it looks very very unnatural so I think I'm gonna do some changing here I'm gonna be cutting the road um, just a smidge like that and we're gonna build it all anew let's see we start up here we go down uh, let's see how does it look how can we get it to, to look natural like that that looks kind of natural and perhaps like that yeah that looks kind of natural in, in my eyes anyway now let's see if we can get that one connected as well like that yeah that looks good in my eyes I hope it looks good in your eyes as well great <laughs> marvelous now we take away the innocent the light there of course and we did certainly have that one is forced to go here there and that one is going there and this one is only allowed to go straight ahead and this one to go straight there now this is the problem when we get here we should really need we should really have one with three lanes on this side but that would be weird to find a road like that I think it would be hard oh let's see what we can find for roads kind of roads here I think these are the ones that there's two and three and let's see if we can change it that's just exactly the lanes that I wanted just the the road doesn't really look as pretty but we can't get everything let's have this for now and see what we can do with this I hope that this will be but I know that there will be problems in the next part where when they merge together into that one again but yeah let's make them let's force them to make the decision as early as possible there I might even 
if I want, if I, I think I'm gonna have one more out of those. I think it's gonna look a little better to have one more. It's gonna give them the free choice to, to sort of change lanes here as well before they they have to go in there. So let's see now. How the lane directions goes here. Yeah, I think this is good. I don't want these this the lights that comes from this one to Oh I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I don't want the, the, the people that come from this lane to be able to go up here again. Um, I mean they can make that choice here they want to go at that direction or if they want to go to this direction or if they want to continue the only direction they can't choose here is to go around they can't get get back here but they can do make that decision here so that's not a very big problem now I've noticed something that if you build something like this quite close to these entrances and exits of the city the weird thing is that there is actually a ton of traffic that just will run into the city and run out again it's like oh we're driven to a city we can't get into this city they, we don't want to get here we, we must have forgot to turn someplace and uh, yeah I do think it looks a little bit more natural like that, but uh, maybe I want don't want them to. I mean, I don't know if these um, roads do carry do manage to take these speeds, but let's hope that they do, and let's see how it looks. Oh, traffic lights there as well. I didn't see that. I'm sorry about that. Let's take that away. It flows pretty nice there as well. And it looks a lot better now that the slope isn't, isn't like a... Yeah, like something bound to be an accident. The traffic is looking up, uh, starting to get a little congested here again, perhaps because they have built up all the industries again. So, but um, yeah, let's hope that they stay clear out of being too congested here. Um, the problem is that I'm going to be building more industries here because this is an industrial area and. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how I'm going to solve that problem when I get to it. Now these under the road, these bridges or tunnels, I mean, not tunnel, not bridges, this, these tunnels is of course as one solution that you can have in every place like this and uh, just have one in and out place but they still need to be able to move around in these places so but the traffic is looking great here at the moment um, let's see what the, this one's saying 81 I guess that's pretty okay There's some red light red colors here and some really red in these intersections but yeah, and the, uh, this entire line here is, is kind of, I don't know, now this roundabout, now this is very, very weird because I haven't built anything out here and this roundabout is just screaming for attention, um, so maybe I just, I mean, they're not that it seems like no rules are, have been applied to this intersection. So let's start by doing that, shall we? 
But I think this it's very important that man, that you put up um, rules for an inter for these roundabouts, or, or they won't work. Um, no matter how good you think you've got it going, this is very important in order to get the opportunity to really get the use out of a roundabout because it's not it's not a perfect thing if you don't well it's never a perfect thing there is no thing as a perfect thing but it's the closest thing to to getting um, the way a smooth transition in, in, uh, in some of the roads here, yeah. but yeah, like, like I said, it's very important that you have rules. Uh, if you just build a roundabout, there's no, even though it's pretty much standard rules how a roundabout works, but they haven't implemented it into the game, so it doesn't put up those rules when you build a roundabout. You have to give them those rules in order for that to work. So that's probably something that is a bit sad for many people that comes to, into this game and, and uh, seeing it for the first time. I mean. Sure, I think there are some in the vanilla as well, some rules that you can put, but you have to do them all manually. I think if you do have, uh, if you do allow roundabouts, the rules should be there. I mean, it's not that hard uh, to tell what the rules are in a roundabout. Let's see here, let's lower the speed to 50 as well in this roundabout like that yes and I don't think we should have let's have 70 when you enter and exit on these sides here like that let's see if that helps just a little tiny bit perhaps does seem to help a little bit let's see if it's still red it is still red but this is where you can see the thing that I was talking about quite clearly because this road coming from that way going here that's all um, there there's no nothing there you, you can travel along this road you can see that there is no there's nothing no building nothing at all just the entrance and the exit of the city so there's tons of people coming into the city from that place through this road going to the roundabout coming down to the roundabout and look at I mean, it's kind of hard to follow perhaps but let's put it on the lower speed and you can see here keep an eye on how many people that really does turn this the all, all the way around and there's 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 one there's two there's three there's four five six seven there. all of these are just it's weird because it, they come from this here you can see them well some of them are actually making other but you can see if you try to follow them so many of them are going this this green one here is going back again and going back home so why did he travel to my city when he just goes around in a roundabout and goes home again that's just crazy people doing stuff like that but yeah 
Pompeii, I guess there's loads of crazy people in this game. Loads of crazy people playing it as well, I guess. Well, let's see, I want to fix this. It looks a bit annoying with a little hole there. This is, is a nice place that I've... I think it's a nice place, but I am actually quite worried about how I'm going to get the amount of traffic that is going to go through that little place to be able to get uh, to the city. Because this is going to be the main entrance into this metropolitan in a city that I was thinking. I know that I'm gonna have to build other bridges in other places because it's going to be impossible for people to get in and out of the city if, if this is all that there is. But um, that is something that is going to be built up during. So in the beginning it's going to be murder because it's going to be so hard to get the traffic to work with only this entrance and exiting the place. I have thought about if I really made, if I didn't make a big mistake placing something like this, but it's going to be fun at the same time to, to get the challenge, um, to try and get that right. One should not always see the problems, but try to find the solutions in stuff, I guess. Now, what else? I'm thinking, do we have a lot of money? We have one million, that's good. Because I was thinking, maybe we should exchange this for uh, a big non-polluting. Because I don't want all these turds in my water. Somebody's been shitting in the water. But anyway, let's see what we can do here. We need to take these away. It's time for us to go clean. Not mean, just clean. And this one costs 150 and an upkeep of 7,000. 640 a week and it takes a ton of water so let's see if we can't, can't build it here I do not want to destroy the road there well let's see how that looks um, it looks okay let's see if it works it will take a while because needs to get some powers and stuff and then I think it's going to do some flooding to this to this part of the city here before it levels out hello hello where's the water now there they come you can see the water is building up here a bit and uh, it's getting pretty close to well, I think there's going to be some floodings no major ones but there's going to be a little floodings I think or maybe it seems to be going down now oh they made it good now this is supposed to be super clean water this is probably one of the the thing that is a bit of a sheet of course um, uh, these are from the workshop community. Um, it's got an entire line of this spectral thing, and I love them uh, because they help a lot by for the economy and stuff like that. And uh, so the spectra thing is is uh, for me quite cool, quite good. This is the electricity where you get 10, no, 1000 megawatt and uh, that does last a bit of a time, so yeah. Now we can see that we have demand for 
industries and offices and of course for even for commercial areas so i'm thinking maybe a little bit of some burger shops and stuff like that out here now i know burgers you mean get a you do have a fish market right next door and you're gonna build a burger that's not nice fish just don't want to be compared to beef they can never win against meat no they can't well, let's see if there's anything else strict coast a little cafe she could be good out there luxury shop we'll come on down to the docks and buy a luxury watch hmm. it does sounds a bit it does sound a bit fishy anyway let's that was that we do have a luxury shop there now maybe I'll some break that off with our lost geckos Cantina there would be nice. And this is a McDonald's. Should we have a McDonald's in this corner? Yeah, let's do a McDonald's out here someplace. Uh, when you get into it, you get a McDonald's. What do we have here? But I don't think that one's worth But a little Starbucks would be good, I think. Let's place one there. What do we have? Plunkis Diner? I think I need, I think I like the, the two Wild Diner or whatever it's called better. Dunkin' Diner, I don't think that one works. Freddy Fassbinder's Pizza. Oh, that would be nice right there. Pizza. That would be nice. Let's see. Here's the two wild diner. It's a bit too big for that place. Let's see if we can find some other. Here, this place right here, perhaps. Would be a good transition going out over to the island. Let's get into the two wild diner before we. Oh, that is. That is a not a very nice place to park on, but yeah. that's the way life is, lads. You have to do it if you want food from the two drone. Let's move this closer to the harbour place here. Like that. Should we be? So I think I want it even Steven now, all the way up into that one. And then I'm actually going to paint this so that I don't. I want concrete. I want concrete. Give me concrete. Let's do this, lads. I don't like this crack that that gives so I'm gonna try and find uh, something more to fill up here with perhaps a restaurant Maybe I place it right there because that is of course or was it a bar or whatever what was this it's a pub well a pub you can eat in a pub so it can be a fish pub um, for those that like fishes and beer you can go and have your fish and your beer right here so that's what I think that looks good gets gets gives a bit of a nice look out here I'm thinking maybe I should do something um, 
something in the line or I have to take that away because it will not go into the grin, grin, grid. Well, maybe, no, let's just do this. And let's just get it out onto the water like that. Now it is quite high, so we don't want it like that. We want it to be in the height of the start here, so like that. Now it looks like a little bridge or a pier or whatever. Now that I don't like, the grass that goes through this. My only solution so far has been to do paint with this one or with some other. You can paint with the gravel as well and that takes away the that grass. But yeah, I think that's good enough for me at the moment. I do. I like when they there is a little bridge to go out on. So these buildings are, do not look like they belong. These two, at least, uh, but we'll keep them. I'm thinking about maybe I should just make some lavish office building here. Oh, the money is something. Like I could see that it was fluxating up and down here. Was the acidic? Mm -hmm. and this is the merit. I don't know what the merit is. What kind of an office that is? But and this is the Empire State Building. It's humongous. Is that really the scale? I mean. Or is that a, a, a too big? I mean, I've been there, so I should perhaps be knowing if that is too big or not, but yeah. Mm. It's hard to choose some good office buildings here. They need to fit into the environment and everything. Let's have that one there. See what that can be. And perhaps we will have this one right here. Or should we have it on the outer? I think we're going to have it here someplace. Like that. And then we want, no, I went into the wrong place. Let's take that out again. And it's here, and we're gonna go in here, and we're going to find some parking spots, or parking place for these lights right here. Maybe here on the corner. Could be good for them to park and one on the other side. This is of course quite good uh, when we think about that there is some commercial areas here and there's a hospital and there's schools. So yeah, not enough educated workers will now be. Well, that looks okay to me. Nice building. Let's see how many people will get work there then. 72 workers in this one. 420. So should be taking care of loads of that, that uh, pedestal here. It should be lowering it quite a lot. Quite a lot, man. What's here then? <clears throat> we, I'm thinking about having a 
a university right here so let's let's just build it because I, I think it's and I don't mean the university campus thing in Virginia just a university no not that one I want this one that's right let's place it right here Yes, I hope that's a good place for a university. It is a bit of a travel to get there, but whatever. No, I can't get... I mean, why are we not enough buyers for products? Okay, we can't export the thing then. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a shame. But if it's that we can't get people to buy them here then why aren't there missing people but yeah maybe that's because we need to have them sold to a commercial before we can get it to let's see what we can get here um, we're looking for something that could be uh, possibly what's that the Vestin that's a big building. I've never seen that before. When did I put that into my workshop? And I wonder what they do. Should I place that there? I place that there. Let's see how many workers there were. 40 workers. Divesting. I don't know what that is, to be honest. Hmm. There's a Starbucks on it. Western blue. Hmm. That's a weird one. Yeah, no, it looks pretty neat. Um, really should be wanting to have these, this part of the building. I should have been. It is looking out over the. But it should be cleared from other buildings to look out over the water. Um, Maybe I will build one of these in the center area and uh, close to the water and, and with that uh, side out towards the water. Uh, it just feels like that's supposed to be the water inside. Oh, and perhaps down by the docks, the harbor, which uh, now that I mention it is something that I have intention to build here. I think this is going to be my harbour space. Oh, there is a traffic problem here as well. And it goes all the way to this place because they are not getting out. Hmm, that's so... That's so... That's so sad. Well, maybe, just maybe, naughty girls need love to do do. Bum 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 bum. Maybe, I'm, I was thinking there's two lanes here, so I could actually avoid this by doing something else. Let's see if this will work. And that is when you're here. If you continue here, you should not be able to go down there. But you should have here, you can only go in there. And this lane is also accepting the in entrance into that. Let's see how that will end up. A little quicker. Mm, seems to be flowing a bit. It's working hours. Look at this. It's, <laughs> it's oh, oh, oh. oh, it's far. Oh, how far it is. 
It's almost all the way to the to the other district. But it's interesting. Interesting to see if we can get this to flow then. It does look a little better, to be honest. Don't you agree with me? Leave a comment if you do or don't. Seem to be a little bit better flow into the traffic here. Holy crap. Holy crap. Crap on a cracker. This is loads of traffic. It's, it doesn't seem to be easing up either. Uh, it seems like this is just getting longer, longer this line. Oh, it's so long. Incredible. There is actually one thing that one can do. No, I can't because the train is going there. Holy moly. Well, maybe I can anyway. I'm thinking about I need to do something about this because this is not going to last. Uh, and it's not going to be something that I can look at so let's let's put these back and we do like this and one two three and we well, let's yeah, let's have a 12 but now oh, that's a steep maybe a little too steep isn't it now we do let's just play with this for a little while that I don't like that otherwise I think it was quite a good attempt of something that looks quite pretty but I don't like that it's too steep so let's see if we can go from here and up, well let's have uh, that one, from there up to there. Now, why do you have to go all the way out there? And okay, let's do like that. And that. That looks a lot better in my mind. And oh, look at this, the traffic just disappeared here. Where did all the traffic go? Hmm. Look at that. Every little thing helps, as they say. I have to look at that in a replay, because I, uh, the, the traffic jam was extraordinary and the next time I looked there even though I was looking at what I was doing here all the time I mean I the road was in my line of sight but all of a sudden everything was the traffic was just cleared weird but yeah cool let's see what we can do here now <clears throat> I really should, I really would love to have some way to make, <clears throat> sorry, to make this possible on the other side as well. So traffic coming from this way that they shouldn't have to go through the city like they do there. They should be able to enter and exit through this industrial back door, so to speak. Um, And I'm thinking about uh, how I'm going to try and do that. Oh my. 
Well, let's just try something here. It can't go more than to hell if everything is... And I want it to be... No, not here. I don't want hell to be here, but I want it to be here and go one, two, three. And we go on the other side of this. And we go, let's go one, two, three. And we're up. And we just go a little bit out. And I want to be making something like this because I'm going to have a train station here later on. But for now, I want to be able to go to leave the road here. One, two, three. Like that. Then cross over the road. And then go down there. And then one, two, three. Let's make it a curvy one as well. And then we go. Straight over like that, and then we go maybe down here like that. Now we have that possibility on the on both both sides, but it looks like it's not high enough for that to get underneath there. So let's press this one and we raise that a bit and then we go to this one and we of course want it to be as high as that, let's say. And it still goes into the bridge so let's see if we can't get it a little bit higher. That should be enough. Let's mark that one. Objects height and A. Objects height. What's that now? There. That's good on that side. Well, let's look at this. Now the sad thing about this side is, of course, that this will be such a high slope again so i won't be satisfied with that i might as well be doing like that before i do anything now i want to raise this part of the bridge let's just do like this and give it the same height as this one and then i want that to have the same height as well like that, then we turn that off, we choose that road, let's start from somewhere like here, like that, and of course we want it more straight, and we'll make that one a bit curvy. And maybe that one curves back like that. Maybe that will work. Or else I will have to put that even further back. How does it look when they drive up that slope? Well, it looks kind of okay, I think. It doesn't look okay there, but it looks okay from this side looks kind of weird from that angle but in this angle it, it looks really really weird but we, okay I'm satisfied with it now this no I, I hate it when the cars go up here goes across the crossing and go out again why are you even leaving the highway if you are gonna go back on it 
in the same direction as well. But that's just nonsense. Now, I'm thinking every... Well, there's got to be a better way for this intersection because I don't want it to cross like it is doing. So I'm thinking... Oh, I'm thinking maybe that one should only be going there, that one should only be going there, and that one should be going there or there. And in that way, um, you'll have to go down this road uh, in order and turn around in order to go out here or go into that side over there which will eliminate any crossing for these lights anyway this these two and they 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 will have to adapt to get into the same lane but i'm also considering Maybe I should just change road there and make it even more simplified for the traffic to know where to go. And uh, it could be great in order to get everything right with the train station later on as well. Let's just try this out for a change. Uh, four lanes. Like that. And now, let's... Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I hit the microphone. It was not by, wasn't intentional. My shin was scratching. I scratched my shin or oh, whatever, yeah. Like that. That one goes there. That one goes there. And that one goes there. Now, nobody has to cross anybody's path so we can do it like this and let everybody go through directly nobody has to stop for anyone now that isn't that nice isn't that what you want when you drive a car but you'll have to drive a bit of a detour but you don't have to stop your car. Now, we're actually starting to to miss people here, but I don't know why we have lost people. That should be, people shouldn't be moving out when we're getting them work and we're getting the traffic to float like it is wonderful. I mean, we have a flow of 80%. I mean, why are they moving out of the city? Don't they like it in this pretty town? That's weird. I like it here. Anyway, let's see what kind of housing we can find them. I'm thinking some sky rises here, so let's see what we do have. Hmm, if we have something that looks nice to have along the beach and that uh, president become my patron. Okay, I haven't seen that, but the house looks interesting. Not the prettiest one I've seen, but it looks interesting. I'm thinking that maybe I should plop down two of those. Just to see if we do get how many households are there. 38, that's all. Nah, don't think so. I know I can change them if I want to, just going in there, but yeah, at the moment. Let's find something that has more people. These are pretty and then looks cool. Close to water here. Like that. And each of them got 200 household, which means they will be able to move in a lot of people in those houses. 
So let's hope that they do move into the city. Doesn't look very nice, does it? Looks like we're losing people uh, all the time here. Wonder why? We're not even making money anymore. I mean, the traffic is floating. It's, it's, yes, there is a tremendously good looking f flow in the traffic and yeah, perhaps that's why. Oh, maybe it's because the cemetery is kind of full. Maybe I do need to have some place for them to burn the bodies. And perhaps that should be right next to the university. Let's see if that will help. Oh, well, they got happy, that's for sure. So let's see what happens there. I don't want lightings here. I won't leave away like that. Oh, it's, such, it's too far away, that's why I can say it like that. Now, how does it look with people and money? Doesn't look good. Well, let's give it a little while to see what's going to happen here. Now they're starting to move in, people. Well, people are starting to move in. Um, let's see how we how's the taxes. Well, that could be a problem as well. Uh, I was just thinking. I don't think that I've reached a milestone where I can do these. But yeah, I'm getting money from them now. So let's see. Um, maybe we should try to make a park here a quick little park and perhaps after that i'm going to call it for today because i'm getting really tired now uh, i'm gonna try and edit and try to upload this tomorrow tomorrow which is for me here now will be on saturday the will be the 19th or 20th or uh, well Let's have a look. Well, it should be today, the Saturday the 19th of September, but it will be later today because it is well over. You can see that it's almost half past two in, in the middle of the night, so that's why I'm speaking like that. Now, Bala Park. Now, I want an, a big entrance someplace. Um, I think I'm gonna have it here and then of course I want a back entrance at both of those places and then we should be just making some some pathways so that people can walk and feel happy in the park. Isn't that all you want? A fun time at the park. That's all I want. To have some fun in the park. Won't you join me? Well. I think I'm getting too tired, as you can hear, I'm, I'm starting to sound like I'm some kind of idiot, but yeah, maybe I am, maybe I am, maybe I am, maybe I ain't, you'll never know, until I come and spook at your house. Let's have a toilet here across the restaurant like that. Information? Nah. They don't need information. They should know what to do in their own city. Let's have a gazebo. 
Okay. And another gazebo right about here, perhaps. And climbing frame. Let's have that out here on one of those little thing imagings. And at the last, we have a trampoline thing we can build. We'll just have that there. Now, I'm sorry for not making the best of parks to today, but maybe we'll get that. Now, this is going to look weird when I place it, but. Oh, it took away the the road. God damn it! Sorry, I shouldn't use that kind of language, but sometimes I just get irritated on myself. Let's do this. Come on, yeah, that looks good. And we'll have to do that nice little loop again. How's how I'm how am I going to do that loop again? Like that? Yeah. I think that will be do done. That will be great. Let's see what we can do here now to f continue with the with this. I should have shouldn't have stopped. There, I should continue from this point onwards. We go to there, and then we go to there, and we go to there. And that's the, the, the beauty of, of um, Move It. You can sort of just place it at not so important places and, and fix it afterwards like that let's fix it from the side where we started here now let's move this into the corner let's see if there there is just what I expected one in between here and we want a nice bendy thing imaging there Good, good, good. I'm satisfied with that. Let's see the next. We move up here. And the next is probably this one. Yes, we move that up here. This, I'm gonna be some, do some bending to this when I'm done placing it, so don't worry. If I just can get a hold of it like that, we have a bendy fence right there. I love, I just love the mods to this game. It makes the game a completely um, other game. <clears throat> I mean, I would have, I, I do think that the vanilla thing is, is a good game, of course. Uh, it's not that I think anything else, but I mean, this is just what makes this game great. It is this modding community and all the things that they have created in order to make this such a, a place to, to build your city the way you want it to be. I mean, Sim City and stuff like that, you could never do stuff like this. This is what makes it great that you can really build. I mean, I'm, a, I'm an amateur, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a crappy City Skylines player compared to many of the players out there that can make, create such incredibly beautiful things and, and things in levels and, 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 and everything out there in the and, and, and in such in such precision they got so, so many of them got such precision where they get it exactly the way it's supposed to look in order to be a good looking thing imaging I, I'm pretty pleased with what I can do and and I'm so far away from those really, really good players that that, are, that is out there, and, and uh, yeah. But I'm learning, and I'm trying to get better. 
both for me and for you. Um, but yeah, it's it's. I'm not there at the moment anyway. I can't say that I am anywhere near one of those top players. Uh, but yeah. Not many are, I think. I think I want that one as well. And what is a park? What is a park without trees? We need trees, of course. And I want big trees. And I want. I think I'm using this way too often. Often. Now, since. English isn't my first language, I do have, well, I do have problems with my own first language, which is Swedish, but uh, since I'm dyslectic and, and stuff like that, but it is a little extra when it's not your own country and, uh, you know, and, and, uh, and um, language. <coughs> and, of course, uh, being a great fan of Big Bang Theory as I was. I often often think of, of uh, when uh, in one of the I think it was the second season in the start of second season um, uh, Penny tells Sheldon a secret and uh, he feels he has to move out in order to keep that secret because he can't keep a secret and so he just has to move and I remember Kutra Pali then uh, when Leonard uh, gets uh, yeah question wondering why he's going to leave and he's talking to Howard and Kutrapoli about it and Kutrapoli says well did you pronounce the T in often in often uh, and uh, yeah that's probably a, a good way to to say okay I should not pronounce the T in often even though there is a T. So, but as I said, English is not my first language. I was not very good at school, so I'm not going to claim that I am any language doctorate or something like that. But I get a, a manage, so to speak. I do think that I have a knowledge of the English language enough to make myself understood and um, that is for me the most important thing sorry getting really tired here now so well we built up this little park as well that went very quick and I think perhaps that's one of the the reasons that I don't build these masterpieces that they do because I don't have the patience to to just oh that went wrong I have to go back and do it again and oh that went wrong I have to go back and do it again oh that went, I mean this constant constant moving around and getting every little uh, every little little thing right is uh, I don't think I have the patience for that. Look at this, they're starting to park cars here actually. Quite a few cars. Nice. And we're getting some people to move in to the city. That's good. Um, I'm thinking maybe I should start a bus line to get the residential people to come to the university perhaps. But then I need to find a place to put the buses. I could have them here. Let's just try and do that before we quit. I'm always like this. Uh, 
Let's try one more thing then and just, yeah, I really should go to sleep now, but yeah, I want to try one more thing. And it's, I'm getting quite a bit annoyed by myself sometimes that I can't just let things go and, and go to bed. I need to get one more thing done all the time. And it sort of steals a little too much time for me, I would say. Let's see here, we can then go in here perhaps. And here. Then go out there. Should I be? Yeah, let's do that. Let's have a back there because we don't want it here because they, then we might have problem getting into the other lane. Let's have a place for the fire department and police department people to get on and off the bus. And then we have the, where the bus station, central station is, and then we have a complete line. Now, lines select types. We don't want anything else, but let's have this one. And then we remove all the vehicles and we add three vehicles. Let's have that. Let, let, let three vehicles go out. You can see there is 290. Oh, and 250. So there are people waiting for the bus. That's for sure. And some of these places, the stations, or whatever we want to call it. This is one of the crowded one, I think. This one as well. Well, well. How does it look in here then? Doesn't seem to be... There it is, not many there. There's Vestin then. That should be a station here as well and it doesn't look like there's a single passenger waiting for the bus here. I think that's the bus station but I'm not sure. Not the best of roads to show bus stop. This is a lovely way to show a bus stop and there's loads of people here as well. That's cool. Really cool. And we have one here as well yes and there's some people there. And I guess they're going to the school, the university. And there's some people on the both sides on that one. And there's people already outside the university that wants to go home, I guess. So, people are moving in. But it's, we were up in 8.7 thousand people and we're down to, to 7 thousand, which is weird. Traffic seems to be flowing still and uh, not causing any problems. And 80% almost. Not red anywhere there, not red anywhere there. Should we look at those roundabouts down here that we played with. This one is kind of red. This one is, oh crap, what's happening here? Is that people moving into the city or is it people that can't seem to be getting to where they are supposed to be getting? These lights are not getting into the roundabout and uh, which is giving them problems it should be i should build the same sort of extended uh, crossings like i have by the city but do i really 
have the energy to do that. I certainly don't have it to do it right now, that's for sure. So we're going to have to wait with that until the next episode because I'm going to give up now because I'm really, really tired. And um, wait a minute, there's a light here. Oh, crap. No wonder there's problems in this intersection. I mean, I, I so often forget myself with these things. Just go there, let that one go there, and that one go there. Will this speed up the process? It looks like it's going to speed up the process, which we're going to do. But it, it, it's sort of really interesting to, to see how a little, little mistake someplace can sort of just wreak havoc with the traffic everywhere. Uh, and um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's still not working very good, but it's working a lot better than it did just by not having a light there. Incredible. But at the same time, it's, 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 it's interesting. Um, absolutely. And I think And I'm thinking about, did we change the speed limits in this roundabout? Let's see. Yeah, we did. So, shouldn't be a problem there. But you can see the line is gone now. Well, let's see what this says here now then. 81 in the traffic flow. So. The line is away, there's no line anymore. So that little traffic light did wreak havoc with this entire intersection here. So let's, or roundabout, let's say, let's get put this on again. It's still red, but uh, the line is not going way back here. It's, it's just at this place here. So that's a bit better. And this one is, well, you can see this is a bigger ring on that one and, the, and then and there is on this one. So maybe I should make this ring a bit bigger as well and perhaps that would uh, make things easier. Um, but yeah, ain't got time for that now. So, but there's a bit of red crossings in them, quite in plenty of places here. But yeah, the traffic is going nicely now, and but still I have problems with that people don't move into the city. I don't know why. I mean, are these people unhappy? No, they look happy. <laughs> this is so weird. These people don't seem to be unhappy, are they? No, that looks great. And we have 71, we have 293 working there, we have 40 workers in that place. So yeah, I don't know why we can't get the people to move in. We do have a small demand for new houses and that should be. But we also have a b little bigger demands for commercials, so maybe we should be building some commercial buildings and see if that, I mean, I'm getting quite annoyed by myself, as I just told you before, I have such problems to quit when I should. Let's place that and have a parking space in between that. I'm pro the, the reason that I continue now is that I want to get this I want to get the feeling that there's going to be moving in quite a lot of people um, when we start the next episode. But I don't get that feeling. 
I mean, 15 and then 24 is moving out, and then 1 and 2 and 0 and 14, 12, 1. I mean, come on. There's plenty of room for them to move in. I know that I was over... I was almost 9,000 and we didn't have these three houses then. And these three houses in pure population is incredible amount of people um, because you get 200 households that's 600 in these three housings here so it's kind of weird actually um, and the park doesn't help out doesn't seem to help in the let's see what we can do when we press everything is kind of mm, nice Now, one thing I do remember when I played a lot before, that it could be good to make parks even in the industrial area. So maybe I should be doing something like... just to give them some peace of mind and just to have some place to relax on your when you have a break at work. Like that. Well, well. But it doesn't, it shouldn't be something that would interact with the willingness for people to move in if you have a have a park or not in, in the in the industrial area shouldn't really be something that they should even consider, to be honest, I think. Uh, let's see, we'll have a helicopter for the... Oh Christ. Can I have it here then? Yep, that's a helicopter for... those, and police helicopter. Yeah, we'll have that across the street from that. And do we have the ambulance helicopter as well? This is the medical, is what they're calling it. Let's place that there. Now that took a big chunk out of my financial situation, but and it doesn't help me to get people to move in. Frustrating as hell. But um, yeah, that's the way it is. And just looking at it over like this, I mean, there shouldn't be a problem. People should move into this, that's for sure. Especially considering uh, that I did have loads of people living here. I mean, I've lost a thousand popula in population since when we start since we started, and I've tried to make improvement, and I've gotten a lot of things improved. Especially the um, the traffic, as I said, it's been loads of fun. Finding a way to to get the traffic to work better, so yeah, and it has worked better as well. It's, it's not just trying to get it to work; it has actually become a better traffic experience in this game. And I think I think I've done a good job this time actually when it comes to the traffic which I might not be the very best at <sighs> but yeah it's been loads of fun anyway I, I need to continue this a little next time I play let's see those we have almost 8,000 people and we're going plus 
there there's a surplus in our um, in getting money but yeah maybe I should try one more thing before I quit for today just pull it down to 10 across the border here and see if that gives a people a feeling of want to move into this city. There's got to be a loads of sound there, but no, I'm not going to continue with this. I'm I'm going to call it today, Glides, and um, um, thank you for watching. I hope you have seen the entire episode. I know it's been a long one. I know I have talked a lot of crap and um, built very little. And um, But I'm, I think it's going to get better, and you're going to get seeing more on better materials from this stream. Oh, not stream, what's it called? This, these videos is going to be um, better and I'm going to be more detailed and building them more smaller things and stuff like that so I can be more detailed. But anyway, that will be all for today. I hope you have enjoyed the episode, as I said, and um, I'll see you later. Bye.